Justice for Imole. Justice for Justice is what we see. And if justice you look at the narrative what what of Karimo, let's go there, guys. Papa Mobad was deceived to go and bury that body. Exactly. So that when he buries the body, they will now pour all everything on Blame. the man's head. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, when they got to the um, morgue at the Kurutu, the man left them there and went home. That's true. You know all the story people were saying that he put the corpse in a car and he went to sleep. And another man came and said he found him, he want to bury something at night. That uh, the narrative mm. that these guys wanted to do, at the end of the day, they will pick on his friend, they will pick on his father. And they will pour everything on them. So it is somehow, somehow, the universe turned their games away. Exactly. Because these people, this matter, Justice I will continue mobile, to say, guys. is being orchestrated by young people. And they have a director. Someone is somewhere that gave them all this game plan. They planned this thing. Mm. And they, are, they were thinking on their feet at every point in order for them to create a decoy in this case. And that is what I simply see. That there are decoys at every angle. At every angle. And they were making some people for them to blame some people for what they were doing. She be they blame the Baba that uh, uh, Baba is he possibly buried uh, his son. That the son is not fully dead. She be the same. They said, why did the Baba use concrete on his burial ground? Someone came and said the Baba was doing something in the middle of the night. Imagine people. All of them, they are creating decor. Mm -hmm. Even those syringes they said they saw is a lie. I don't believe. That's true. If they were smart enough to clean all the blood, why did they leave the syringes? Why? Mm. These people are smart people, man. They are smart people. Mm. For me, I what said people they are creating decoy. Decoy. So that what is the is there for assisting in, in, I mean. Because as a police officer, I will arrest all of them for me to meet all of those things. Thank you. I will see a camera, I will arrest all of them. Yeah, yeah. And they can, if they can, keep, to if they can keep, go back to another can keep all of those things, if they can keep the syringes and all of those stuff, why did they wash the movie with the blood? You. Uh, mm -hmm. But they forgot to take the gloves and syringes. Mm. They forgot to take that. Are they that stupid? They are not stupid. These people are not stupid. These people, Justice they think this Mubad Nollywood is. film, the death of Mubad, is going to be an epic film. And he will turn to money back on red. These people are bad. There is someone giving them things to do somewhere. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hi, so Don't forget that criminals always leave a lead. They always make mistakes. So yes, don't sir. let us we overlook. To find out. Yeah, don't let us overlook the syringes and things. It might. Es no, 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 it no, no, might. No, no, es no, no. Please look at this thing critically. You see, yes, they leave some things. They will leave some things. But the syringes, for me, is all is such a gigantic. Yeah evidence that they wouldn't have packed away. How many days after did they see the syringe? After they exhumed the body? How many days before exhuming the body? And like you think this. they would, mm. which means nobody has swept that house. And they've cleaned a number of things. Mm -hmm. So they left the syringes that it was the nurse that came to do. And the nurse was not even stopped when the nurse caused the death of that guy. They did not even report to any police station that the nurse came. And he killed Muba. They didn't report the nurse until all. police came into it, and that was after exhuming the body. Mm, that's correct. So, in the first place, justice for Muba goes. A quack nurse and injected your friend or anybody in your house, and the person reacted, and you took the person to hospital, and the person died. And the first time you will talk about someone that died, you don't even say, Now, nurse, inject her more. He reacted, you first said he had hair infection. Uh, or they different him. stories. Look at those narratives. They are narrative to create confusion and decoy because these people are lying. Why yes. did they not talk about the nurse at all? The Karimo even come to talk about the nurse when he was attacking everybody attackable. They didn't even talk about it until the police came into the picture. What did Karimo do? Karimo tried to give a narrative that 
Papa Mubad has problem. He has caught something. Imagine. And remember what Brett said. He said when he went to Kurudu, he learned that when they were attacking Papa Mubad, there was a lot of confusion. They were planning booby trap along the way mm. and blame other people. Let other people take the fall. Those are decoys that we confuse. The same thing I believe, and most of us believe that the guy probably died on a Monday. Exactly. We're saying he died on a Tuesday. Like and share justice so, for mobile guys. Can't we even say that it may be the North even come to help in the empowerment of that guy? Maybe that was what he she actually came to do. Mm, preparedness. Because Darusha cannot tell me that who helped him to wash the body, who helped him to prepare him and wear a new clothes for him. Mm -hmm. There are other people there. So what actually did the Lord come to do on a Tuesday? After the that is why the Lord cried out that the, the Lord so rejected him and he reacted. Because the Lord would have been reported all this why before the exemption of that body. Look at it, baby. You know you work in investigation red. What will stop them for more than nine days not to have reported that not? What were they thinking? Mm -hmm. And go on social media and be attacking the father. They were not attacking the nurse. They were attacking the father that came all the way from Ikorudu to meet a dead body. But the nurse that came to inject the body, they did not attack the nurse at all. Karimo did not say anything about it. I said, mm. we beg Baba. I beg him, beg him, beg him not to bury. The wife said, let us go. What are you doing? You did not even attack the person that came to choke him injection that died. You left him. You should go. All of them are the chase shadow. They call saying a uh, prime boy with the with the crew. Do you are, are you getting my point? Yes, that, yes. That is that is a lot of decoy. That is a lot of edgy, forgery, lies in this matter. It's okay. No, I think I will hundred times. I will always disagree with prime boy when prime boy name is brought. If prime boy is innocent, let him expose them and take himself away from this. He owe he owe us a lot of things to say. To fully no, no. It's not said enough that makes him an innocent person. Uh, Prime doesn't look innocent. Aparano, I am not going Justice to justice for mobile. Prime boy. Prime boy has been given every opportunity to tell his truth. He has been given every Prime boy was not in the house. So if Mumba did not die in the house, baby. No, no. How do you know Papa, when Mumba died? Papariano, Papa, wait, wait, wait. You see, for me, I'm not talking about Prime Boy involvement. Prime boy have been given all his opportunity to say his truth. If he has all those opportunities and he has not been able to say his truth, he's still hiding something good right down to, his, to him. Because, because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. now your neck, they be your board. Yeah. Not be anybody's neck. Yeah, but again, that's how, opportunity. That's what I'm saying, that we, we are giving a premature conclusion here. If we, if we disregard what happened to Mubad before he got home, we are making it look like Mubad was alive, he got home alive. Eh, eh, Papa Liano, you are not even looking at what me I'm saying. You see, I've said from the beginning that this guy has set him booby trap. And what they are doing is to blame everybody else and not them in this matter. Everybody else. You blame everybody else and not you. Mm -hmm. That is one big statement that we are not even looking at. Okay, but are 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 not are not are them in the house. That is, that's what you're saying is convincing. If they are playing the blame game, yeah. yes. okay, and they are extending their blame, to somebody who is not part of them, shouldn't he blame them back? Shouldn't he clarify himself as an opportunity? Apparently, we will come back to look at that. That is another entity. Let's look at it like this. This is what I'm saying. All the people that they blame, they have mouth. They have opportunity to come and watch themselves. So if they don't, good readers to them. They will go in for it because they fail to come and say their truth. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But what I'm saying in this case and where I'm looking at the total conspiracy. Was we can't hear you very well, Aristocrat. No, this is the first time you're in your solo. I'm trying so hard to hear you, but it's hard. That's true. Am I clear now? Justice for mobile. Am I clear now? Now, like what I'm trying to say is this. At every level, look at the whole scene holistically. And let's begin to break it down before we go even to the level of the suspects. You see, the major person that came up in this whole scenario that actually killed this guy was the nurse. 
let's take, let's agree that he got injured. He came to the house. He bled. Pulled the trigger. It was the nurse because she injected him. You understand what I mean? Now that under medical whatever, you came, you injected someone. It's like giving someone a leather injection. You kill the person. Now you drop. Abi. The people that were in the house when that thing happened. At no point called out that person that put the trigger. Mm -hmm. What were they doing? They were calling people that are far away that they were the cause. What are they trying to do? Blame every other person and not them. That's true. Blame every other person and not them. Blame the police. Blame the gate man. Blame the chicken. Blame the rat, but not you. But you were all in the house. What did you do? You allowed the nurse, you paid the nurse, and the nurse went home. I'm very sure they paid the nurse her money. And she went home, and she has killed the person that was sick. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And well, you them the... You're not using microphone. Mm, I'm not using microphone, not my friend. Can you use one and see let's, whether it's going make a difference? If you have around there. Now, I've removed the... Uh, Whatever, am I clear? So clear. Okay. So what I'm trying to say in essence is this. That is a total conspiracy on this thing. Mm -hmm. And that is a director that gave everybody's rule. And the director we are here to see. The director is a masterminder who would have been a seasoned criminal. And if these people do the telephone analysis of everybody, they will get the answer. That's true. Because they would have been communicating. They will have been told what to do, what to do. And they will have tried to perfect it. You understand what I'm saying? Now, let's bring everything to the scheme of things. Even that nurse is not free. Because the way things have gone, if assuming he died on a Monday, mm -hmm. which means the nurse came to do the empowerment. Exactly. And you know when they do empowerment in the house, they will give injection. Mm. After injection. Eh? Yes, they'll give injection. Thank you. So that is what the nurse came to do. And that is the reason they didn't call her out until the police exhumed the body. Yeah. Because if truly she killed him, Arama Kamuna, one of the whole of my look at the boy, on him as come and take your trophy, they killed him. On him as a pony infection, on this one, you're that thing. Uriah, no matter, Ali Louis, direct. The mother, Juliet, that's why I don't know how much involvement the mother is because mm. the mother was the one who later took the daughter to the police station after the article of the, of the people. So, um, Mamu at this point was hidden. We are only, we don't even, we don't even, I don't know if you were here then, we don't, at that time we were thinking whether Mamu Mubad doesn't have a mother. Everybody was concluding, oh, he's a poor guy, doesn't have a mother. Mm. It was only the father. We said, ah, oh, no, so many bad so things was true at that time. Mm, no, so many bad things. It is not good to, to, be, to, to be too soft and gentle. And that is, that, that is the thing. That is yeah. why since today, sometimes, I still begin to analyze this man. Are we sure that everything is fine with him too? Are we sure at any point he has not been, people have not attempted to bribe him? Because if he have such, if they have attempted to bribe him and he refused, that's an evidence. That's a good evidence. Mm. That's all fine. If it can be proven that some persons try to bribe him as not to say some certain things or do some certain things, it's a good evidence. So no, I don't believe so. No, no, yes, you can, you cannot. I mean, that shows that I mean, the, uh, there's something is hidden here. He's just so he's just a gentleman to the core, very gentleman. But he are you telling me that they must have not promised him heaven and eight? They are just they're just fine like that. And why did he leave the father now? So why did he not want him go with yeah. the, the, the same lawyer with woman? If everything is simple and fine. I, I believe there's manipulation involved. Papa Yano. That's that's the best I can say on the streets. There's a, a, a somewhat manipulation. The man is a gentleman to the core. I wish you met him. 
Hmm. You know, I've never lied to you. Yeah. And I'm, no, 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 no. Sorry, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, either, I won't believe you either. Uh, I will wait for to believe again because I can't believe I would like to say something here in response. Can I just interject for a minute and say something from what um, Papa Ariano said about the conspiracy? It's much noise about that. Much noise? Yes. Are you somewhere? All right, hold on. I'm in the office, but let me remove my Bluetooth. Okay. Because I wasn't hearing um Aristocrat. That was why I put on my... Bluetooth. Hello, can you hear me now? All right, bro. Okay, good. So, in response to what you're saying about because, um, like I mentioned yesterday or day before, I have often pondered a lot about Baba Mubad, mm -hmm. about the sequence of things, how it happened over and over. And at the end of the day, I saw that we basically have to pull information out of him. He doesn't voluntarily give out um, crucial information right. that okay. are very um, important for the case. Maybe he might not know that he's supposed to say this. Now, in response to what you said, that um, um, what's going on if, why the, why was he and uh, women not together having the same lawyer fighting as a as a family from what bookie said she said that mm -hmm. at a point in time you know mama mubad and baba mubad mm. they were coming Justice together it was mubad, a save yes. um they were about to get married according to the narratives we heard that mubad was actually bringing them together for them to get married the following month um mm. after Please, the following so month to his, uh, the month after his death so excuse me i'm also eating sorry and um the death happened later on it from the day the death happened mm -hmm. the way he got to know about the death the the the, the conspiracy began to unfold yeah. to him now it might not be necessarily very you know come to the full knowledge that there is a conspiracy going on because remember he didn't have any issue with mama mubad him and uh, women may not be speaking but he didn't have issues with mama mubad they, they had started a relationship somehow and they were supposed to get married somehow mm. you know at a very closer date so we might not know but what happened later was the lawyer that he saw was supposed to reach out to him or somebody was supposed to reach out to him mm -hmm. and was supposed to sit down and have a round table family talk about the death yeah, yeah, and yeah. the um, estates of the deceased. However, they kept, you know, avoiding him. He began to notice because the day they were supposed to have the meeting, he didn't hold. When he called for someone to pick him up, the person, Mama Muba said they are sleeping mm -hmm. and they never came to pick him up. That was, I would say, almost, I think, the last communication he had with Mama Muba before everything escalated. Yeah. And then, you know, now, it, later on, Buki said that they had an eight day, eight day, what do, what do you call it in Muslim? Yeah. Something, something, uh -huh, prayer for the disease. They said they did, they cooked massively. Mm. They distributed it to the um, community um, on behalf of Mubad. Baba Mubad was not involved. He wasn't called into it. He wasn't informed. He was ostracized. They made all the decisions. They, as a point of fact, I think she said she even got to know they had a meeting without him in it. And then when he kept forcing Justice about it, the lawyer told him, Bye bye, uh, come. There is enough for everybody to, there's enough for everybody. So they cut him out. He, f he saw it, he felt it, mm -hmm. he, and it was so evident to him that these people are conniving together and it's out of the picture what is going on. So that was the reason why. <laughs> There was no unity. Well, there was no for, according to Wumi, Wumi said after Mubad passed mm. that he called Baba 
Baba was not saying things that like Baba was not cooperating. So she just just stop calling Baba and shut down the, the phone. Mm. Mumi will say that, but mm. how are we sure mm. that is true? Mm. Baba Mubad, listen, I'm not saying he's a perfect man. He might even be a tough nut as a husband to have it in, in a home. Okay? He may have his own, you know, uh, um, um, inadequacies, his own excesses or whatever, but it does not sound to me, it, it looks to me to also be a cool headed person. Mm. Why would Rumi call him and he will not respond. Why yeah. did Rumi call him? Was it after the whole really thing, like. the whole eight day prayer, the whole meeting with the lawyers? You all have Good come drama. together and done everything without him, that you're reaching out to him. Mm. When exactly did Rumi call him? Because Baba would not be willing to, to, to speak to them if from the get go, every important decisions, every important actions were taken by them without his involvement. I even heard maybe from Bookie that there was a time she was supposed to come with uh, Falano and then there was something they said or whatever and uh, the meeting didn't hold anymore because Baba was not ready to comply. Yes. He wouldn't comply if he has seen everything unfolding right in his eyes. Yeah. That's there's a conspiracy going on. Exactly. Right from when his son died, he wasn't informed, he wasn't briefed, mm. he wasn't honored enough to be told about the death of his son by the wife, whom he gave a living son to, and she couldn't report mm. back to him that now your son is dead. That was what I was trying to say on your platform the other day when Ku. Kubagiri didn't hear me out and she, she took offense. That I said, as a doctor, uh, the, is, a man gave you a living son, you will return. What I was trying to say is, it, it, it behoves you, whether you are staunch enemies or not. Immediately, your husband died, you must inform the father of, 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 of his son's demise. You didn't tell him, you told everyone else, and then it happened to be there we all know the story of how we eventually had to go there and go there and everything happened right in his face and yeah. then subsequent meetings subsequent decisions subsequent everything was taken without his input he would he would listen he will there and then he knew that something is going on yeah there is, there is, they are, something is terribly against him okay, just, yeah, yeah the clip. let me really play this one for you Okay. family. taking care of you. Have you from about any time? No. 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 He was saying things I don't understand. So I decided not to call him again. Okay, so the in-depth, the details of that comment, you see, that comment is loaded. I would have wanted to know, when did you try to call him? What was his reaction that made you say, you, you didn't understand what he was saying and then you didn't call him again? They don't want to her. They will not grill her. It's a fixed call, like they don't want to, whenever Uri comes around him, right, they don't want to really ask. They just okay. believe that she's fine, she's good, everything's mm. right. So, I mean, I yeah. you can see, okay, there is no, it, it, Umi said, everything that will lead us to so just details yeah, exactly. of how Muba died was blocked. And just like Aris Socrates was saying, it's a huge, I said it yesterday, it's a huge conspiracy. These young boys behave like mafia. Mm. I don't even think Italians mafia as, as, you know, as experts, as all these boy, young boys. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's a whole conspiracy. They did all of these things. They 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 they, 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 they planned it all the way it will go. The syringes or whatever. The no. the, 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 the um analysis of uh, Rostokra this this right now. It's 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 it makes sense. I don't know if that's what happened. It does make sense. Why would they carelessly leave all those syringes around? Why? If not that they want to sell a narrative. They, they said that 
the 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 CTTV is not working. Why would it suddenly not be working? Obad is not the owner of the house. Why? We know that at least we've heard that he is the owner of the house. They planted somebody at the at the at the hospital to say that uh, I saw Mobad. Yes. I saw Mobad. Oh, All different narratives. Many distractions. It's so Ooh. conspicuous, very clear. Mm -hmm. That this is a planned work. It's just that there's something about Mobad and his spirit that is not making it go through for them. That is making them get into a roadblock at every turn they make. Mm -hmm. It's not justice for Mobad guys. It's not like I share this video. They said that uh, 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 the blood thing. There was blood on the. There was blood on the duvet. Mama Moba said there's no blood. Papa Moba said it's no blood, even though he said it's way after. And Mama Moba's sister confirmed that there is a blood. Imagine. Two people confirming the same thing is cause you for mean, say, investigation. Say, there the might person. be some out of truth in that. When somebody said I saw it, another person from nowhere, this wasn't that they were speaking, confirmed that they saw she saw it too. That is a she should be invited, not arrested. I mean, Mama Moba's sister, not arrested, but invited to come and say what she saw is part of evidence. Baba Moba's legal team should be petitioning, should petition the king himself. I don't know if you're there. Um, Papariano. It's not there. Aristocrat, if you're talking, I'm not hearing you at all. I don't know what happened today with your volume. With your audio. I'm not hearing nothing at all. That was why I had to put it.